This past week, I had a business trip followed by a trip for pleasure, and along the route were 12 of the coming soon Pilot Flying J locations off the EVgo map. I stopped at them and compiled a three-minute video. After we watch the video, I'll discuss what this statistical population means for the broader project. So that was 2 out of 12, and if you do the math on that, that's about 15%. If you look at the pin drops up here, there's about 250 of the pin drops of the first phase of the 500, and uh, that would be about 38 locations that we would expect to be under construction if we just use that generalization of the sample population that um, I went to the 12 locations, the two that we found, 15% should be 38 locations. That's you know, just rough generalization. Uh, and what we have, <clears throat> at least what I have, is this <clears throat> spotted under construction. We had this location near Columbus, Ohio added. Um, YouTuber Ben Zico Adventure uh, spotted it under construction. Uh, this location is one of the two that I spotted under construction. And this is the other location that I spotted under construction. Uh, but this is not 38, so there's more out there. And what I do when I do my sweeps is I go into plug share and I toggle this little coming soon thing and it changes the icons to just be the wrench icons as you can see. You might say, wow, that really sounds like it's going to take a long time. How do you scan all these wrench icons? And it's really not that bad because uh, Pilot Flying J only lives on interstates, so all these ones that are non-interstates get pruned out. Like over here, that's not going to be a Pilot Flying J. Um, it's just interstates, and after you do this once or twice, they start to become familiar, at least they do for me. Um, I'm a type A person, so this is really in my wheelhouse doing this type of stuff. So, you know, I, I easily spot 
new ones and um, it takes me literally about 10 minutes two or three times a week uh, no problem whatsoever um, I also went through uh, using the EVgo map with the state lines any location that I could easily identify like you know right up here or right over here with the pilot flying J location map um, I added to PlugShare and you might say well that's kind of spamming PlugShare and I agree in normal cases uh, that would be true uh, but I kind of thought about it for a long time and here's why I chose to do it let me explain if we go to the location that I cross paths with in Tennessee, what is it? is it? No, it was in Kentucky. This one right here. Let's look at this picture. I showed up when I was at this location. There's probably 30 people at the facility. And let's just say in a given hour, 50 people funnel through this facility. 50 people an hour, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This have been passing by this canopy with these Delta dispensers. No one added it to PlugShare. Not a single person. This has been growing out of the ground probably eight months, something like that. These things don't just pop up overnight. This has been under construction for a long time. 50 people an hour have been passing by being, oh, look at that. Not a single EV person likely has landed at this Pilot Flying J, looked at it, and been enthusiastic enough to add it to plug, plug share. So I think what's going on is because these locations are not frequented by uh, people who drive EVs, it's just... They don't, they don't add it to PlugShare. They don't know anything about it. So I took the initiative in this particular case. I think we've got a lot of sleeper sites out there <clears throat> of which it's really not known how many. In my small um, sample population of 12, we're looking at somewhere around 15%. And I'd like to say that there is some gleaning we can do of these locations about what uh, pilot corporation is using to target and the two locations that I saw are in very heavily traveled corridors uh, this is right at the I-8177 interchange in um, Virginia and it's it's very congested it's, it's a heavily traveled corridor there's lots of um, infrastructure around this location just because of all the travel funneling through there similarly <clears throat> This is Interstate 75. It too is a very heavily traveled corridor. So it'd be nice to say that they're doing a targeted select um, build of heavy corridor locations. But then there's these other locations. Um, where is it? Uh, there's the Panhandle of, of Oklahoma. If anyone's been in the Panhandle of Oklahoma, there's nothing out there. There's no towns, there's no people, there's no nothing. Um, there's right here. This one is in the middle of the state of Florida. <clears throat> Any Floridians will tell you, if you get anywhere near Lake Okeechobee, there's no people. There's nothing there. And <clears throat> this one actually isn't even on an interstate. It's on like a, a state road that connects Tampa to the east coast of Florida. So it's hard to say what um, Pilot Corp is doing with their location selection. And perhaps the team is just going through and trying to opportunistically see where they can get some quick wins. <clears throat> and I've been thinking about this while I was doing my road trip. Um, <clears throat> likely what's going on is the corporation is priming the pump um, in order to be successful in a rollout like this, you have to have a team of uh, professionals that can engineer the site, uh, do all the project management, be familiar with the contacts. And so what I think they're probably doing is just moving on with their plan, trying to get the team's skills honed, because very soon, NEVI funds are going to start to be released, and it's going to be game time. And uh, when that happens, if Pilot was 
trying to learn on the fly, they would be behind the curve. So I think what's going on in Pilot Corp, they're just trying to get their team's skills honed uh, for when game day hits. They've got their A team on the on the court. I think that's what's going on. If because there there doesn't seem to be any warp or woof to how these locations are being selected. It's not select locations in heavy corridors, and it's not in any given one little area. It's spread across the entire country, and um, uh, doesn't seem to. It seems very random. Um, so if I had to guess, that's what's going on. So. Uh, these pin drops have been added. M not all of them, you know. I, I didn't do every single one. I did a, quite a few. I did um, all the ones that I could identify. And when you get into like Los Angeles, there's really no way of identifying which pilot flying J this is because there's so much white noise going on in the background, you know. But right here, um, that's a pretty easy one to identify. And so you go on the pilot flying J website and you could identify what location they're talking about there and uh, so I added those uh, types of ones to plug share and uh, feel free to add any that um, uh, you see that you could identify to plug share um, I'll include it in my sweeps and as I said I just go through and um, check to see if there's any reports of people going to these locations uh, that have found anything new so let's just go over again what we currently know Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 known under construction. We'd expect to see somewhere around 37 from my small sample population. Uh, these are the ones that are open. Uh, there is one change. Uh, it's just at the Williamsburg I did a site visit video. Uh, so I'll link that down below in the description if anyone hasn't seen it and wants to see it. Uh, nice location, um, has a attached Wendy's. It was right across the street from the hotel I stayed at that night, so it was really convenient. What I did is I charged up the night before to about 80%, went to the hotel, went to sleep, came back the next morning and charged up to about 95%, and then went on my way to uh, Bowling Green, Kentucky. And um, the 12 locations that I stopped at uh, basically went from Bowling Green, Kentucky to Morgantown, West Virginia, and then back to Charlotte, North Carolina, down Interstate 81. That's where those uh, 12 locations came from. And then anywhere where I saw a coming soon pin that I could identify along that route, I stopped at, and that's where that video came from. Anyway, that's what I have for this week. Thanks for watching.